her rifle. So today here at Jessica in Wisconsin, we are making some fava bean soup. It is getting colder here in the Midwest, up in Wisconsin, up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Fava bean soup is one of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe because it is and it smells really good. Folks, here at Jessica in Wisconsin, today is getting a little colder than expected. So here in Wisconsin, as you know, it is a fall. It is a beautiful, one of my favorite seasons of all. And because it's getting a little bit colder, I'm gonna be making a fava bean soup that it's gonna have a little bit of ginger, jalapeno peppers, onions, carrots, and a lot of good flavors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Jessica in Wisconsin. And thank you so much to all of the new subscribers. We are a lot more, so thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. All right, folks, so for my fava bean soup, what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using uh, four cloves of garlic. I'll be using five jalapeno peppers, but if you wanna do six or maybe seven, you can definitely do that. And if you don't like any spicy, you don't have to put any pepper at all. I will be using one white onion. I am using also one cup of carrots. Because it is ginger, I will be using a little bit of touch of ginger. And I will be using cilantro. So about this much cilantro, that's what I'm gonna be using. And of course, I will be using four cups of fava. If you can see, my fava beans, they've been uh, watering for about one hour already. So they're nice and clean. They need to be very yellowish, bright color. That means that they're clean and they're ready to go. Also, I will be using tomato. Usually what I do, I usually use a fresh tomato. I don't have a lot of fresh tomato today, but it is okay. I will be using some uh, diced tomato and I will be using two cans of uh, diced tomato today, folks. Here we are, these are the ingredients. All right, folks, so just like I was letting you know, I'm gonna be using four cups of babas. My cell, I ended up making them soaking. I soak them for about one hour. Anything dark like that, you definitely want to throw away because what you want to do, you want to make sure that your fava beans are nice and clean and bright, just like I said. So anything like that, brownish. See, they're nice and soft now, so they're gonna be cooked pretty quick. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using a little bit of olive oil. That's the way I like to cook. In fact, it has been many, many, many years that the only thing I use is olive oil. But if you guys have any other oil, I mean, that's, I guess that's okay. For me personally, I don't like any other oil except for olive oil. But it is your personal choice. In this case, I will be getting my garlic. We're going to start browning our garlic. That's going to bring a little bit of it. Mmm, it smells good already. With my garlic, I will be use, putting the ginger all together. And as you notice, I already have everything nice in place. That means that everything's in chop. Once that is in, onion and carrots. Okay, folks, so along with all of my ingredients, I, as you notice, I like to brown everything really good. Just like I say, the pepper is optional. If you guys wanna put the pepper, that's fine. If you guys not, don't like any spicy at all, you don't have to put it in. What I can tell you for sure is that this it smells really good already. Mm. Right, once all of this is sauteed, you're gonna go ahead and get your favas in there. 
And if you notice, the favas are nice and soft already. Look at the bright color. That's how you want your favas to be. Once the favas are in there, just like I said, you can use a fresh tomato. In this case, I don't have any fresh tomato. It is okay that I'm using diced tomato. And that is two cans. It also, one, thing, one thing that I almost forgot to let you know, I will be using two chicken bouillon. And this is just to bring a little bit of chicken flavor. So I almost forgot to mention it, but um, as you probably know, Hispanic people and Italians do not have recipes. Everything goes by head, by memory, and that's the way we do things Italian and Mexican food. This is how much cilantro I'm gonna use. All of that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blend in my blender because I like it that way better. And this blender works like a champ. I like it. So that's the last thing we gotta do. And now we're gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes, low temperature. And we'll be coming back in 30 minutes, folks. But this is all it is to my fava bean soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. We'll come back in half an hour. So it has been about 30 minutes simmering. One thing that I, that I wanted to say to you guys is that if you feel that your fava soup needs a little bit of um, water, go ahead and do a little bit of water. In my case, I had to put at least one liter of water just to give a heads up, but this soup is ready to go. See how beautiful that is? I'll prod it. As you can see, my fava bean soup is very, very, very not thick, but thick enough to be not so soupy, soupy. And if you notice, all of these beautiful carrots, fava beans, I mean, it's just absolutely good and it smells really, really good. So myself, what I usually do, I usually get a piece of bread. This is one of those uh, seed breads. It's called 12 grain and seeds. I get a little bit of butter. I get a little bit of butter, put it into my bread. You can put it in the toaster if you wanted to. And voila, this is how I eat my soup. I mean, I, you can eat it just plain if you wanted to. And what I can tell you is that it's, it tastes really good. Mmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching. And thank you so much for subscribing to our channel here, Jessica in Wisconsin, Jeff and Jess. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching once again. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. By the way, if you like any meat, like in my case, my husband likes meat. For myself, it will be okay if I don't need any meat, but he likes his meat. So you can definitely add any bacon. You can add any pieces of uh, hamburger meat, steak, or even chicken. That is up to you guys. Um, just wanted to give you ideas, especially if some people eat meat, okay? We'll see you next time, and thank you for watching. Jessica in Wisconsin. Mmm, yummy.